I'm really excited because this summer I want to announce I'm going to start daily vlogging on a separate channel or almost daily vlogging. It's going to be my sister and I's last summer together so we definitely wanted to document it and do a bunch of crazy fun things together this summer and yep that vlog channel will be made at the start of the summer in like a few days so that's really exciting and also I I was supposed to film this video about four or five hours ago, but I wanted to finish my episode of Criminal Minds, which is like my favorite show, and that's my favorite person, Maddie Gray Gubbler on it, who plays Spencer Reed. But then Spencer Reed got shot, so of course I had to go to the next episode, and after that, that was the season finale, so I had to start the next season, but that was the last season, so I started freaking out, and I wanted to watch it, but then I wanted to save it, so I considered going back to the first season. So I watched the first episode of the first season, because I wanted to just watch that before I watched the first episode of the last season that was on Netflix, because I don't know what season I'm right now. And then I ended up watching a few more episodes that I should not have. And now here I am, 11.50 at night before the last day of my freshman year of high school. I don't know why I'm doing this at 11.50 when I have a super important phone call. I have to wake up at 6.30 tomorrow morning to answer and have a meeting over the phone. Yep, that's me. Just to catch up a little bit, I know I haven't posted in a little while, I've been super busy with a little thing called, oh god, an injury. I have recently just been diagnosed with having tendonitis in my hamstrings, which was the problem that was causing the knee issues that I was having in my last few vlogs. But that started, because I kind of ignored that and kept dancing on it, I'm sorry, I'm a bad person, don't take advice from me. This is an advice video. I should not advise you not to take advice from me, although that would be pretty good advice. Because of the overexertion, it started causing stress on my knee, and now I have to go to PT to get an evaluation to see when I can go back to dance again. Also, I'm a little jittery because I've, I've, I've had a lot of feelings I've been able to release because I haven't danced full out in like three weeks. This here was a very interesting one. I started my freshman year of high school and I believe I learned a lot of knowledge. Um, I should have prepared a list for that video but that's okay because this list is going to, it's not called being unprepared, it's called speaking from the heart. And I'm trying to quickly type out a list before I waste my battery on this camera. Number one, the first thing I want to tell you is that despite what you may think going into freshman year, it is important. One common mistake you can make as a freshman is believing that it's just freshman year, ninth grade won't matter, but in the end, ninth grade is a really important year. It's a transition year, so the first thing that's happening is you're kind of getting accustomed to like the high school lifestyle and how all your classes work there and stuff like that. I had to switch from public school to private school this year on top of it, and that was even more stressful because like high school gets harder as it is for middle school, and then on top of it I was going from public school to private school where the expectations were much higher. <laughs> a lot of people believe that they can slack off freshman year and just pick up after the years to come. But when you think about it, um, junior year is a really hard year and senior, and that's the year that's the most important, I believe, because that's when your grades have to be the highest because that's what's going on all the college applications and that's when you're looking into what you want to do with your life. So really the only time I believe you're ever going to have to pick up your grades is sophomore year. I don't really have experience with any of the other grades yet, I'm just an expert on freshman year. Which I haven't even technically completed for another like 12 hours. Number two, the other thing you will have to realize as a freshman and accept in life is that everybody in your grade is a freshman. There's a cliche form of freshmen that everybody like talks about and they're like, oh my god, you're such a freshman, da, da, da. you'll hear that a lot and stuff like that. But there's no way to avoid being a freshman because whether or not you try or try not to be a freshman, you will be a freshman and everyone falls into the stereotype because there's so many different types of freshman stereotypes. You get what I'm saying, everyone is a freshman. Everyone in your grade will act like a freshman. And it kind of still happens the first year of sophomore year, I can already tell like, I could tell like watching the sophomores, I was like, they're one of us. There's no way to escape it. Just don't try. You're just gonna have to accept it. You're a freshman. Number three, it's not a movie. You're not going to walk down the hall and get your head shoved in the toilet. You just have to get over like the fear of upperclassmen and everything. And know that you will have other friends your age and some friends that aren't your age. Number four, this one, I feel like such a hypocrite for saying this because I definitely don't think I follow this like advice whatsoever, but I think it should be said. Um, grades are so important, but so is your health. 
I am notorious this year for being the person who stays up until like crack of dawn studying and stuff like that. I'm a very worrisome person when it comes to like grades and tests and stuff like that and I just want to do my best but it's hard because of like such a tight schedule with dance on like like you should see my Monday schedule. I go straight to dance from school and teach for a few hours the um, two to three year old classes and the five to six year old classes. Then I go to my own classes and I'm there until late at night and then I get home and I try and do as much of my homework as I can. But I'm literally, this year, I have spent most of my times up until 12 o'clock at night and I'm waking back up at 5.30 to finish the schoolwork I hadn't done. And even then, sometimes I didn't finish all my schoolwork and I had to do it during lunch. And I hated it. It was like the most stressful thing ever. But yes, health is so important. And you may like, don't make the same mistake I did because then my grades started slipping a little bit just because I wasn't getting enough sleep and I wasn't paying attention as much in class because of that. And also I tended to get sick a lot more often, which meant missing school, which meant more makeup work, which meant less sleep, and the cycle just keeps on going. Last but certainly not least, the number five. This one, I'm still kind of trying to get inside my head, knowing that I still have time. It may seem so short, like, but keep in mind you do have time. You don't automatically have to know going into your freshman year what you want to be when you grow up or what college you want to go to or what you want to major in and all that crazy stuff. It feels like you will have to know that and I still think about that a lot. I'm like because it feels like high school is going to go by so quickly. Especially after watching High School Musical. Like, <laughs> like they never age. You do have time and you don't have to know everything. You don't have to have your whole life planned out at the age of 14 or 15. That's a little ridiculous. Um, but yes. Those are the tips I have for you going into your freshman year. I hope they helped. They definitely are things that I want to focus on a lot more going into my sophomore year even to remember so that way I don't have to deal with so much stress or thought about it. I still have to shower. Dang it! If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Let me know what grade you're in. Just comment it down below. Or, or if you're a freshman, feel free to share your favorite freshman memory or any advice you'd like to add to the video. Um, yeah, I post videos every Wednesday. I've been, and also I want to start making the two videos a week that I've been promising because I'm going to have more time on my hands, but I also have a lot of important and exciting things coming up this summer that I'm so ready to share with you guys. I have a huge surprise coming up just for all of you, and I'm really excited about it. I hope you like it. Um, yep, I will see you guys next week, and bye!